right, so a uh, quick video on how to uh, replace a rocky toilet. If your toilet is, if you see water on the on the floor around the toilet, that means that when you flush the toilet, um, um, the water the water and the solids go up and down, and then uh, and then they're getting trapped and then they're coming out here. Or your or um, you've got a, a crack, so your wax seal is is not sealing, or your uh, foam seal. Like here's here's a used foam seal. Um, so it, when my uh, when I noticed my toilet was uh, rocking a bit, rocking is never a good thing because you're gonna have uh, either sewage leakage or you're gonna have some sort of leakage. Um, so the reason that the toilet is rocking is that this this uh, there's two bolts that hold the toilet down, and these this bolt was broken right off. So you if you ever see your toilet on the side, there's a bolt here and a bolt here, and the, and this one's broken off on this side, and then on this side the actual the actual uh, closet they call this a closet flange where where this plastic is broken off, as you can see, it's it's fixed, it's okay on this side, but this side it's broken off. So a uh, couple options. One of the the best option is just go to the hardware store, and I think for like four or five dollars, you can get a flange repair kit. And what that consists of is is just a, a a piece of steel, and that will actually go over top of uh, over top of the part and screw it in the existing holes. And uh, I got that at Home Depot for about four or five dollars. The best thing to do is actually buy good bolts when you bolt your toilet down. You can get uh, white steel bolts, which are probably going to break again, or you can get these. These are uh, solid brass. This is an M5860, and you get these from Home Depot. They're called it's a toilet floor bolt, and uh, make sure when you uh, you buy them, you get five sixteenths. I need a two and a quarter inch bolt. That's what was on before, and that's what helps with my uh, my height. So what you're going to do is you're going to take. You're gonna take one of the bolts and you're gonna stick it through the bottom and you're gonna put it back in the same spot and if you notice on here halfway through the um, halfway through the 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 pipe here there's actually somebody scored a line here so we'll, we'll line that up and we'll put it back in the same spot and then I already took out the existing flange screw bolts and you can actually put these back into the same holes. So we're going to put them back in the same holes. Alright, I'll just hand tighten these so I don't strip them out. It's very important you don't strip these because if you strip these then obviously your, your toilet's going to be loose again because your flange is what's holding it down. And so I, I put four in there, tighten them down, make sure your bolts are standing up straight and they're in the same thing or the same direction. And what you want to do is you want to uh, put down your seal, your foam seal. You can replace this for a couple of dollars, or you can put a wax one down. And then simply, uh, what you do is lift your toilet back over the top, put the bolts in, and you're done. So all you gotta do now is just um, your uh, toilet floor bolt kit came with some some washers and some nuts, and then put this cap back on, and then uh, just reconnect the water. You just use the the crescent wrench on the bottom left, and you should be go. Should be good to go. So I hope this helps help somebody out.